What is your real name? Lawrence Levy. And why do you go to games and sit behind home plate in a Marlins jersey? I've been doing it a very long time, but nobody noticed it until three years when I started wearing orange. I've been doing it in Marlins jerseys for a while, and I also wore Dolphin jerseys and Heat jerseys and things like that. And my friends would say, where are you sitting? I can't see you. And I'd say, right by home plate, or right by LeBron, or right where they never saw me. When I started wearing this shirt, they found me. And are you, I'm assuming then you're from Miami? Miami Beach, yes, sir. And what is your ultimate goal of doing this, just to make I have no goal, I'm doing this for myself. And to make people, I, as, it, when I started doing it for myself, I thought I had a unique power to make people happy. So I decided to start making other people happy who uh, are enjoying the Marlins Band ride. It's a lot of fun. If you look at my Twitter today, I turn my hat different ways because people ask me to. And a kid asked me to go upside down. So I went upside down. And he went crazy. It's on my Twitter. And is it Marlin Man or Mr. Marlin? Or no, the way I got named Marlins Man, I didn't name that. I went to the World Series in 2012 and I went to the Golden Gate Bridge. And when the, Mar and the park rangers came up to me and wanted pictures. And they said, you're the, you're Mr. Marlin. I said, no, I'm not Mr. Marlin, that's Jeff Conine. And they said, well, you're the, you're the Marlin's man. And when I came back to Miami and I told my office that story, they made shirts up for me called Marlin's Man on the back. And I donate them to charity after I wear them. Like the one I wore the World Series last year, I gave them the Make-A-Wish of Bay County in San Francisco, and they sold it for $5,600 to grant the wish for a dying kid or sick kid. Oh, wow. And what is your day job? I I'm, a, I'm a lawyer, and I own real estate properties, and I uh, also own a lot of racehorses, too. I have three jobs. Racehorses, real estate property, and workers' comp lawyer. I have uh, 47 employees in my law firm. Okay. And... Um, why? How do you pick your schedule and how do you know where to sit? My office staff does that for me. They try and have me go visit stores or clients and then I go to the baseball games at night. That's what they do. Okay, and what did the Dodgers employee who came up to you earlier in the game ask you? No, so that Dodgers employee I took to a game as one of my guests. Whenever I come in town, I buy extra tickets. I take somebody I never met in my life to the game. In St. Louis, I bought a war vet, a girl with breast cancer, guy lost his leg. In San Francisco, I bought the head of the San Francisco club. So when I came here last week, or two weeks ago, I went to the Angels game. I bought an announcement for a Fox Sports. I never knew the girl. The girl said she wanted to go. So I, she asked to go and I took her. The one you met, that's the, the employee. I brought a girl who's here in a banana. She wears a banana when she comes here and wants a picture. I brought some of my office staff. Um, who else did I bring? I brought uh, I bought a box and I brought I brought eleven people I never met before, eleven. And is it true the Roy the Royals offered you a suite to get out of yeah. behind the home plate? Yeah. Well, they, they wanted me to wear a Royals jersey or leave, and I refused to wear a Royals jersey. But I refused to leave. They offered me a, some signed things, and they asked if I wanted to go sit in the suite with the governor up there in the corner and have stone crabs. And I said, I don't eat stone crabs. I don't care about the governor, and I'm not moving. I'm staying here. What's the craziest thing you've ever been offered to leave your seat? Unlimited access to a strip club with girls. I said, I'm not leaving. <laughs> True story. And who picks your, does your office staff pick your seats also? Yes. Okay. Um, and, uh, you came prepared. I love that. Thank you. You have written questions. I like that a lot. Um, and how many Marlins games have you actually been to? In my lifetime or this year? Well, since you've been going, sitting behind home plate in I've been a Marlins season ticket holder since the very first year in 93. And I went to pretty much every game at home. And then starting about four years ago, five years ago, I go to the games during the week when they're home, and I go to every game on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. I never go Thursday and Sundays, ever. Okay. I traded those seats with a guy in back of me so I could go to Friday and Saturday with double seats. Oh, that's, that's interesting. And so you must have a lot of frequent flyer points. I have about 3 million frequent flyer miles, and they grow every week. Last night, I was in New York at the Yankees game. Yesterday, I was at the Belmont race. Friday night, I was at Yankees. I was on Marlins TV Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, last Sunday, I was, I forgot where I was. Oh, I was in, I was in LA at the Angels game. On Saturday, I was at the game seven hockey in Anaheim. And on Friday, I was in New York. What's your airline? Delta and American, mostly. Oh, okay. Um, so, who, who are your guests here today? I brought one person today. His name is... 
Pablo. His name is Pablo. And he, he was here last week, and he knows the girl you saw me talk to from the Dodgers and also the other, some of the other people here who we brought last week. So, and people just... Oh, I brought a lawyer also. I brought a workers' comp lawyer whose wife just died of brain cancer. And how do, how do you find people to bring with you, or how do they They're find already you? Doing, they just became friends on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll put some up like, hey, I'm going to be in L.A. this week. Who's going to the game? People say, I'd love to go to the game, but I can't afford it. I'd like to go, because but my dog just died. I want to go, but my wife just died. But guess what? You're going. Um, I'm, I bought 50 tickets on June 15th for the Marlins Yankees game, and I'm bringing 50 strangers. I don't know who they are. And I bought 50 tickets in New York yesterday. The Yankees gave me half off. I told them that was the Jewish discount. And I'm bringing 50 strangers totally to the Marlins Yankees in New York on June 17th.